Hey everyone, so now let's just talk a little bit about this extra bit of code that we've written. And we can see that we have this set velocity y, negative 330. And if we try to test things out, let me just go and go here. And we can see that the player is on top of a platform. So if I try to, and if I use the arrow keys, it's jumping, right? And it's jumping up to at least that that height. And if I try to reduce this to 300, we can see that this player, if I'm using the arrow key right now. Let's reduce that to at least 100 just to test things out. And there's this property dot touching down. And right now you'll see that's the height of the jump of the player that I'm able to set up using this set velocity y and we're checking a logical end which means this cursors up should be up or let's say uh, we have this cursors up object from where we're pressing the up key and it is being pressed down i think that's the way we can try to read through this code base and we're checking also if the body is touching down which is a sprite or let's say a touching down property that is in the phaser framework that we can try to play around with and as you can see if i try to go and jump from here let me just go bring that back to 360 and i'm just going to jump up if I'm on a platform however if I go outside of the platform let's say the world bounds or the boundary of the world if I try to go and press on the arrow key it's no longer working so I think that's just something to take note of when you're using this function it gives us an away or this line of properties that is being provided to us by free by phaser and one other thing that I just want to test out here is to add another set of keys that we can try to use. And I think you already know that we can try to add that W key as a variable declaration. And let's have a W key and then we want to also target that here. And I'm just going to use the move or jump. So we want to set up that w key there and let's also set that up here and let's go to our i think we can also set that up here and we can have the or key w dot is down if i'm not making a mistake this should be allowing us to have an uh, whichever the two here is true and it also has to be touching uh, body the body of the player should be touching down on a platform so let's try to test this out will that this work and I'm now pressing on the W key and it's working correctly and if I go outside I won't be able to jump because I'm outside of the platform and if I try to right now i'm using the okay so you'll see i'm able to jump and move up if i'm using the i think we'll have to set this in a different way so let's have or key w w is down and Player dot body dot touching dot down. So let's double check. If we will be on a platform, we should be able to jump with the W key. I'm pressing on the W key right now. And we can actually test out should we be able to console log this? Mm -hmm. Can we console this log? Or store this in a variable then 
can we have can we do that let's try that out uh, down let down button send the value of player dot body dot touching that down and let's see if we can try to replace this and place that here will that still work if we try to customize it and down button okay or up sorry this should be up up arrow key player let's replace that with that just to make it a lot easier for us to see so that's still working and let's also store this or perhaps we can have all of this already let's go and try to control x this can we have it here and then add that here and then we just use the arrow up arrow key uh, let's test and see uh, is this still going to work yep it's still working so that means we're just storing the variable and right now the arrow key is no longer working if it's outside of the platform you'll see it's no longer working let's also have a let jump w key or i think jump with the w key or let's say move up jump or move or let's say jump w assign the value of this one just to shorten it out and place it here and let's see if that will still work so now I'm pressing on the W key that's still working if we are outside of the bounds we're no longer able to jump and if I jump let's test the arrow key if we are jumping with the arrow key that's working and if I am outside of the platform I'm no longer able to jump with the arrow key and the up arrow key and the W key so now we are able to set up some uh, jump with uh, jump W key I think we should have this that way just to make it much more clearer at least we can jump with the arrow key we can jump with the W key we can move the with the A and D and we can also move with the left and right arrow keys and jump with the up arrow key and so perhaps that's it for this video uh, at least we were able to set up that and it's clear what we are trying to do with the last code block of an if statement that we had here here we're checking if this is true and this is true then we can uh, be able to jump so if one of the two let me just end this statement with a semicolon so if one of these two statement or expressions are not going to be i think these are expressions because expressions are composed of operators and operands right so this is an expression this is a complete statement and this is an expression and this is an uh, we are evaluating a value if it's true or false so this is a complete statement in the javascript language so we have two arguments in the if statement that we're checking if any of the two here is true then we can have our velocity set to the y-axis vertical axis to negative 360 so that should now be allowing us to jump from with the use of the jump w the arrow key i'm using the arrow key and we can also jump with the use of the up arrow key and if we're outside of those platforms we're not able to jump so that's it for this lesson thank you and see you on our next session